Account security is a hot topic when it comes to RuneScape. In recent years, we've gotten a lot better features to secure our accounts, but it's definitely not perfect, especially for RuneScape's richest players, because their items are worth more than what they probably have in their real life bank account, which I can't decide if that's sad or impressive. I interviewed one of RuneScape's biggest hackers who told me about how he got started, his biggest hacks, and something you'll all want to know. Some important ways to keep your account secure. And like the title says, he hacked RuneScape's richest player. The year's 2012 and the Squeal of Fortune had just released. You spin it and get XP lamps, rare items, and if you're really lucky, just a casual 200 million coins. As you could guess, scams surrounding this little goblin-themed children's gambling machine popped up really quick. For example, someone would set up an autotyper telling people to go to a website to get 50 free spins. The website was a fake, designed to look exactly like RuneScapes. Once you log in to claim your spins, the scammer has all your account details. This is where Kevin comes in. That's not his real name, but he wants to stay anonymous for obvious reasons. So, he's Kevin. He saw someone spamming a website, realized it was a scam, and said, hey, I could do that. He got in contact with the scammer through the website, paid him $50 for the website files, and started doing it too. This really shows how far scamming has come. I remember as a kid willingly downloading an exe file that was supposed to give me free RuneScape GP, and instead I got one of those FBI warning viruses. The website didn't work great, but it tricked a decent amount of people, earning Kevin a couple billion GP. But to him, this was kind of meh. He was also big into player run gambling games back when it was allowed. That stuff earned big money, like college tuition or new car level money. If you were in one of those big clans, especially so. If you played back then, you probably remember their ads were just about as bad as all the gold farming ones today. I don't want to watch boring ads, man. Just change the channel. Free to play dark fantasy RPGs, mobile and PC compatible. Is someone there? Rage Shadow Legends. Why are you in my house? All right, you win. This game actually does have some pretty cool bosses. Let's go! What did you find? My uncle told me to try Raid's PvP arena or a dungeon boss. The graphics ain't too bad either. What the f- I mean, my champions are pretty epic. Take a look at this one. Bill, you are a detective. Mr. Murphy's wife is missing. Wait, Raid just released the Artifact Forge, where you can save time and craft artifacts directly, as well as a whole new advanced quest system with amazing rewards. They're currently developing the beautiful Doom Tower. You play Raid 2? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I knew you were worth the 15k. Next up, we have this beauty of a mobile game. If you download it using my link and play through at least a tutorial, I'll shout you out in my next video. You'll notice down below, the description will update itself with how many of my viewers do that. My goal for this campaign is 93 installs, so obviously I'm gonna need a little bit of your help. Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you're a new player, you get 100,000 silver, 50 gems, 10 mystery shards, and one free champion, Hexweaver. These rewards are only available for the next 30 days in your in-game inbox, so go download right now or you'll miss out. Then, Old School RuneScape opened, and that meant a lot more players to fish. He figured it was time to take the operation up a notch. He pulled in three close friends to help out. You ever see that spam at the GE where somebody is saying, type this in on YouTube to enter our 50 mil giveaway? Once a user finds the video, there's a link to a phishing site in the description that's disguised to look like the RuneScape forums. So they'd log in thinking they'd be logging into the forums to enter the giveaway, and their details get yoinked. Ever notice how that's happened for at least over a decade? Obviously it's because it works consistently. And when old school opened, all the scams we fell for when we were dumb dumb idiot babies worked again. That is what Kevin and his friends did from 2013 to 2015. At one point they had 30 clients running off virtual computers every day spamming this YouTube giveaway. Over those three years they managed to fish over 15,000 accounts. On good days they'd have the bots run for six hours and come back home to over 100 accounts. 2015 starts. The money in phishing is okay, but it's time to step it up even another notch. Account recovery. Experienced account recoverers were making over 10,000 USD on really good weeks, and Kevin's group wanted a piece of the pie. Now what makes recovery so much more worth it? Well, phishing got its name for being like real life phishing. You cast out a net and hope you get some bites. Account recovery allows you to target people who wouldn't normally fall for phishing links. More importantly, if you know someone has a lot of valuable items, you can target them. So it's kind of ridiculous how it works. They simply contact Jagex pretending to be the account's owner, saying, hey, I've lost access to my account and would like to get it back. They'd say, fill out this form, and if info matches our records, the account is yours. It usually included things like billing information and the questions you set when you made your account, like, what is your favorite song? Yeah, okay, Jagex. I totally remember my favorite song from my emo phase in sixth grade. Recoverers would try their best to find this information. 
When a website gets breached, a lot of that information gets leaked in the form of database leaks. Essentially, a huge chunk, if not all of the users that have an account on that site, get their account details made public. Recoverers would take this information and use it to find even more information to recover your account with. Like if Papa John's database got leaked. I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. Not only will the internet see how fat I am, if I use the same password for everything, they'd have access to my PayPal, Gmail, and so on. Once they have all the information they need, they submit it to Jagex. Now, I'm sure you've heard the horror stories about Jagex support. Oh, it gets so much worse. Well, a few years back when you sent a recovery request, Jagex would email you back saying, hey, so here's a few things wrong with your request. Instead of saying, the info is wrong, try again, they'd say, hey buddy, this part is right, this part's partially right, and we need something like more current billing information. It tells the hacker exactly what else they need to find. That'd be like if you typed in your bank pin at an ATM and it said the first three numbers are right, but the last one's wrong. But you can try again if you want. To submit a request, you need the login name. Without it, you can't submit one. So what they do is they send out a bunch of recovery requests for suspected login names, fail the request on purpose, and if they got the username right, Jagex would email them back saying, Hi RuneScape name, unfortunately you didn't provide enough information. So from here, they managed to recover a lot of high profile accounts. Over the years, they hacked a couple Jmod's personal accounts, namely Mod Jane. Her account had Pmod status, and they also managed to get login details for one of her emails. One of Kevin's friends hacked Alkin's YouTube channel and posted phishing videos on it. And last but not least, his biggest hack. It's impossible to truly determine who the richest player on RuneScape is for certain, but I have no doubt that this booty short wearing patriotic guy Bulk Supply was at one time. He was well known by top ranked skillers for using his network of alts and friends to pool resources very quickly, perfect for people who want 200 million XP in a skill. After being hacked previously in 2009, you know, he only lost 20 billion GP, which was a ridiculous amount today and even back then. He rebuilt and was worth supposedly hundreds of billions of GP soon after, although the wiki doesn't really provide a source for that. But it's pretty clear by his actions. The man donated over 500 bonds to the Well of Goodwill when that was still around, and had a collection of 2 billion earth runes. Kevin managed to successfully get into his account, but was unable to breach his two-factor authentication. At the time, Bulk's bank value was somewhere between 500 billion to 1 trillion GP. In those days, it was anywhere from $75,000 to $150,000. Although Kevin failed to get past two-factor authentication, soon after, someone else did, and he got cleaned. Although that original hack and the information used for it probably helped the next person figure out how to do it. Now, how do you keep your account safe? Or well, safer? Kevin recommends first and foremost, use a login name nobody knows. Now since most of you already play RuneScape and you have an account, you unfortunately can't change your login name. So you should create a new email only for RuneScape and change your account's email to that. It's impossible for a database leak to reveal your RuneScape email because the only website you'll use it on is RuneScape, and I guess the email provider. Use a password and bank pin that you don't use literally anywhere else. Use an authenticator on anything that supports it. That means both an authenticator on your RuneScape account as well as an authenticator on your email. It's not foolproof, but it does help your chances quite a bit. Now, what else happens if someone finds out your login name besides the potential to get recovered? Well, there's actually an unfixed login exploit that more or less makes your account unusable, which you can learn all about in this video.